Welcome to the Commons. I'm Ken Canada, and today we're going to share with you my new song, See, I Make All Things New. Now, we had to be a little creative during this COVID pandemic, so I recorded the piano at my church, Holy Trinity Catholic Parish in Beaverton, Oregon, and my friend and fellow OCP composer, Scott Crandall, recorded the vocals at his church, the Episcopal Parish of St. John the Baptist in Portland. We hope you enjoy the performance video, and I'll have a few words of reflection on the song afterwards, right here on the Commons. <laughs> So uh, the book of Revelation is probably the most interesting book in the Bible and the most misunderstood book and was written in a style, a genre called uh, apocalypsis, which is Greek, which means disclosure. Uh, the book of Revelation was kind of a code book while the author's uh, community was being persecuted by the Romans. and. If this piece of literature was seized by the Romans, they would look at it and go, what is this? It's about a dragon that devours a woman who's given birth to a child, a beast whose number is 666, and they didn't get it. But that was the point of apocalyptic literature. It's a secret code, and those who know the code, are, are they receive the word of God 
in a very positive and encouraging way. The problem is people who don't know the code misinterpret it. So you get all kinds of uh, people even nowadays who misinterpret that 666 is the number of the beast, the Antichrist and all that. But in the midst of this secret code, there was a positive message and poetry. And one Easter, a couple of years ago, the, uh, the reading from Revelation 21 came up in the lectionary about the new heavens and the new earth. And I thought, you know, oh, we need a song about that. It's so beautiful. From chapter 21, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven, the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. And I saw a holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Uh, the song practically wrote itself. And little did I realize when I composed this song that the world was going into a worldwide pandemic with COVID-19. There would be a lockdown. And Bob Hurd and I recorded this song for a new collection, We Should Glory, luckily before the lockdown happened. But as I reflect on how the Lord works, uh, how the Lord has used me all these years as a composer, um, I realize, you know, this positive message from the book of Revelation is just what the world needs to hear right now, especially I'm hoping that people who discover the song will sing it when their churches reopen. See, I make all things new. I am with you always. That's the basic message. There's a prayer, my prayer of hope for the world as we recover from COVID. Uh, that God will wipe away all our tears, uh, that we will live together as one, that we will be able to hold hands again and praise our God who makes all things new.